Welcome to the Optivity Blog. I'm your host, Paul Vizinski. One of the most expensive parts in collecting biosignals are the non-reusable electropads. A medical-grade electrode pad has a small conductive ring surrounded by a conductive adhesive strip. They cost around a dollar per pad, which means you can spend $50 per month per channel. I'm about to show you how you can create a reusable electrode with only a penny, wire, tape, wire cutters, soldering iron. Now up until 1982, pennies were made out of copper, but since then they've started creating them out of zinc. Zinc is comparably conductive as copper, having a resistivity nano-ohm meter of 59, so both are adequate conductors. Uh, we're going to be using zinc for this tutorial. When I'm soldering the penny, I typically use the tails side. The Lincoln Memorial has a lot of surface area, which helps the solder adhere to it. Uh, soldering to the penny uh, will take a long time, as the penny has a lot of thermal mass, which means it'll take a while to heat up as well as cool off. So be very careful touching it once it's hot. Now, attach the wire. And uh, a trick to see if the solder is fully adhered is if the solder is able to be pulled off the penny. It's not ready like that. And if we wait uh, a few more seconds, it should get to temperature. And there we go. Now that it is cool, I like to remove any corrosion from it and sand it down so that the zinc layer is exposed. Like that. To get the probe to stick, we're going to be using a little bit of painter's tape. And put that on the tail side. And try to get as much surface area against the skin as possible. And there you go, that's your penny probe. If you found this useful, make sure to subscribe by clicking on the penny.